We continue to celebrate Asian American, Native Hawaiian, and Pacific Island Islander Heritage Month. And tonight, one Upper Arlington woman is sharing her story and hopes it will make the world a safer place for all. So Karen Jobu talks about her childhood in a U.S. internment camp where she was sent along with other Japanese Americans soon after the bombing of Pearl Harbor. That was in 1941. And she says while some may not remember what that time was like, it is something she will never forget. TV's Kevin Landers brings us her story tonight. These are some pictures of my family. Karen Giabu lived through one of the darkest times in U.S. history. I was only three years old when I went to camp. And uh, when we came out, I was about five. And this was the camp. An internment camp where Japanese-born Americans were rounded up by the government. It was under the guise of national security following the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Half of the people uh, in the camps were children, so they were all born here, including myself, and, you know, had never been to Japan, couldn't even speak Japanese. When the war ended, so, Jiabu attended uh, UCLA and graduated with a degree in bacteriology. That led her to a job at Mount Carmel West, but there was something so, missing. I was never very involved in the Asian community. <laughs> All that changed 29 years ago at the first Columbus Asian Festival. That's probably the first time that I had met so many Asians. She would go on to chair the performance committee for more than a decade. Later, she joined the Ohio Asian American Health Coalition and later the Asian American Community Services, which works with OSU medical students to eradicate hepatitis B, which impacts less than 1% of the U.S. population. Of that less than 1%, half are Asian born. That's it. When she's not helping her community, she speaks to schools about her days as a young girl living in an internment camp. She hopes telling her story will make the world a safer place for all. I don't want it to happen again. And so if telling this story is going to help that, even if it's one kid in the class that will see someone that's different than them as a friend and not as an enemy. Kevin Landers, 10 TV News. Kevin, thank you. Now, Karen Jobu was one of many who created the Dragon Boat Races for the Asian Festival. That was back in 2010. Three years later, she received the Hepatitis B Champion Award from a national coalition. And in 2020, Karen was inducted into the Central Ohio Senior Citizens Hall of Fame. Andrew?